Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. This is day three, our fasting and prayer. How are you and where are you joining from? How are you and where are you joining from? How are you and where are you joining from? This is the day three of our fasting and prayer. Glory to God. How are you? Where are you joining from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How are you and where are you joining from? Good afternoon, good morning. Some people, it's evening. Good morning, good evening, where you are. You can tell me your name, tell me where you're joining from. Hallelujah. We want to make this as um, interactive, powerful as possible today. Um, just before we start, um, remember that we're reading from our Next Level Devotionals. And for you to download this, you can download it. You can download the app. Let me show you what the app looks like. You can download the app. You know, you can download the app, you know, you can download the app and um, I was trying to get you an example of the app. I'm using my own phone, so I can't show you the app. So uh, you can download the app and see what the app looks like and, and read the devotionals. So the, the thing is that this is um, day three and we're looking at what is wrong with my prayer and my faith. What is wrong with my prayer and my faith? Glory to God. Thank you for sharing Fisayo from Lagos. Thank you, Olabisi from the UK. Thank you for sharing. So let's go ahead and read this. The Bible says, And for unto us were the gospel preached. This is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2 to verse 3. As it was preached unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For if we believed, if we which believed to enter into rest, as he said, so have I sworn in my rod, if they should not enter into rest through them. The Bible says, if they now i'm going to come again it says for if we which believe do enter into the rest as he has said as as he has said as i have sworn in my wrath if they shall enter into my rest although their works were finished from the foundations of the world so this is a teaching today what is wrong with my faith and prayer and this is very powerful do you feel that god doesn't love you do you feel like you are doing all you should, but your prayer seem not answered. I don't know if that resonates with someone. He said, do you feel as if God is, you are not God's favorite? If you have any of those thoughts, you need to stop because, because you are stopping good things from happening to you. Put your hands over your chest and say, everybody say this to, with me. Say, my God is good and kind to me. Say, let's say it together. My God is good and kind to me. Type on the comment section, my God is good and kind to me. Don't use physical circumstances to interpret God's love. You will always be on the wrong side of life. As you grow, you will understand the wisdom of God is consistent. The love of God is consistent. It doesn't do bad. It doesn't do bad today and do good tomorrow. No, God is consistent. James 1.17 lets us know that God is the father of light in whom there is no darkness at all. When you, what you believe determines what happens to you, not despite, despite what you desire. And this is very powerful. You know, as we conclude this, the confession today is this. This is a confession. Let's take the confession together. My God is good and kind to me. Therefore, I have the best things of life. I declare that my strength will not fail in the days of adversity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me say that again. My God is good and kind to me. Therefore, I have the best things of life. I declare that my strength will not fail in the days of adversity in jesus name amen and amen we're going to just start praying we normally will start to do that glory to god i hope that you've sent in your prayer request i hope that you've sent in your letters of congratulations if you're looking for where to send them the emails will be on the screen we're going to start with thanksgiving today and i want to read the scripture to you we're going to start with thanksgiving today have you shared today with your friends go ahead and share quickly let your friend know that the prayer fire started that everyone is praying glory to god everyone is praying. it's just so good to have people taking time and praying hallelujah in different countries different nations in different places we're going to we're going to just read a scripture psalm 20 psalm 28 in verse 6 this is a very powerful scripture i just you know i was looking at it this morning psalm 28 in verse 6 we're going to start with thanksgiving psalm 28 in verse 6 remember that when you pray when you fast and you do not pray all you're doing is dieting that's not real bible fast Bible fast is loaded with prayer. It's loaded with fasting. Today, I want to recommend that you go to YouTube and watch my message on how to get clarity. You watch my message on how to fast and pray. And join us this evening for midweek services. Okay, let's go ahead. Psalm 28 in verse 6. See what the Bible says. 
It said, because, it said, blessed be the Lord, because he had heard the voice of my supplication. That's very powerful. Psalm 28 and verse 6. You can help me type the scriptures. You can help me type the scripture in there. He said, blessed be the Lord, because he had heard my supplication. This is very powerful as we go to God in thanksgiving today. I want us to thank him for answered prayer. Like the psalmist said, blessed be the Lord, because he had heard my supplication. Let's go ahead and bless his holy name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your word says, unto you the answers prayer shall all flesh come. The psalmist said, blessed be the Lord that has heard my supplication. We come today in thanksgiving knowing that our God has heard us. You've heard us over and over again. You've not turned a deaf ear to our prayer. Thank you because our fasting is not in vain. Thank you because our prayer is not in vain. Thank you because you've heard us. Father, we lift up our hands in thanksgiving. Father, thank you because in heaven, according to Psalm 28 in verse 6, thank you because you've heard us. So prote le kume shabale kaparo sasaya. Eli kruste kambari ske brandele na meno onta. Alina shuti ke pere suze vratila. Oh Lord, thank you because you have heard us. Father, thank you. You have heard my prayers. Father, you have heard my supplications. You have heard my prayers concerning my spiritual growth. You have heard my prayers concerning all the NLP community. You have heard my prayers concerning family. Father, I'm grateful that you have heard our prayers. Father, thank you. Thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have heard my prayers for those that want to get married and the marital delay is broken. You've heard my prayers for career and approvals for people. Father, you've heard our prayers. Father, we are grateful. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to read it to you again. And you know, someone says, you know, you know, what makes this very powerful? Why this is very powerful is this. We're praying based on the word of God. See what God said today. In Psalm 28 and verse 6, you can let me type the scripture and put in the comment section. And if you have not shared with someone, go ahead and share with someone right now before the prayer becomes really intense. He said, blessed be the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication. I'm going to lead us in a prayer of thanksgiving together. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are a people of faith. We believe even before we see. And Lord, before we even ask, while we're even asking, we well, thank you because you have us. Father, I'm grateful for the people here that, Lord, you've heard their prayers concerning their approvals. I'm grateful for the people here. You've heard their prayers concerning their family. I'm grateful for the people here. You've heard their prayers concerning marriage. I'm grateful. You've heard their prayers concerning their family members. You've heard their prayers concerning their job, their career, their finances. Father, we thank you. The Bible says you've heard my voice of supplication. We lift up our voice in thanksgiving and we give you praise and glory, O God. Praise and glory, O God. Bless Blessed, blessed, blessed be your name in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise and glory of God. We declare in the spirit of faith that you have heard our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to begin to declare glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. And this is a prayer I'm going to pray next. The God has heard our prayers. God has heard our prayers. God has heard our prayers. This is the prayer you are going to be. Father, Father, oh my God, this is very powerful. Father, I lose my appetite for sin. Hallelujah. I lose my appetite for sin. In this fast, I'm making a commitment to you, oh God. I lose my appetite for sin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says that, the Bible says for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us from the law of sin and that I lose my appetite for sin. Let's go ahead and pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And leave a combalush a palamataya. I lose my appetite for sin. Oh God, let thy kingdom come in my life. I'm praying for the investment and oh, we're praying for the kingdom of God. Lopresco Ramana cross kataya. Let my kingdom come, oh God. Lekoma shando kapaya. E kuske veretone mraskata na made. E jijo bratale kurasso zavrede. E lukraske vale brasso zanataya. E kruste krasto graparo zozo zozo. E droske palama. I lose my appetite for sin. Sin will not 
cannot have a hold of me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I lose it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lose my appetite for sin. This year, everyone struggling with an addiction will lose the appetite for sin. When they let the Lord, the Spirit of life in Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm agreeing with everyone to this year. Oh, Mashakataya. The Bible says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. I'm declaring over you that in the name of Jesus Christ from today, the flesh comes under. The Amen. spirit will prevail. Amen. The spirit will prevail. The, the kind of addiction, the kind of sin you'll find yourself stumbling into, it stops today. The spirit will prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray over your desires, over your desires, that the spirit will prevail. Over the desire, sexual sin, and the lack of addictions, that the spirit will prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, that today, the appetite for sin has been Lord has been destroyed Amen. in Jesus name. Amen. Oh glory to God. Lo patana kapashe ketele maso palande le komesh kavale brate le koshe breke tele rebe soma nakata le gena mashada maraba santa le brakata la raba sante le gede. In Jesus name we pray. We are going to pray from Ecclesiastes chapter nine in verse twelve. Ecclesiastes chapter nine in verse twelve. We are going to pray from Ecclesiastes chapter nine. In verse 12. Oh, glory to God. I said glory to God. This is getting really powerful. Everybody type in the comment section. I lose my appetite for sin. I lose my appetite for sin. Say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I lose my appetite for sin. In Jesus mighty name. I lose my appetite for sin. In Jesus mighty name. I lose my appetite for sin. Type in the comment section. We're going to read quickly. And we have two categories of prayers to pray. And we're going to close from there. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 in verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 in verse 12. This is what the Bible says here. This is very powerful. This is very powerful. You can help me type the scripture quickly. You can let me quote the scripture and type it there. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 12. The Bible says, For the man, the Bible says, For man also knoweth not this time, as fishes are taken in an evil net, and as birds are caught in their snare. So men snared in an evil time, and it falleth upon them, it falleth upon them suddenly. What the Bible is saying here is that it said the same way beds are caught in a net. It said the same way evil happens people suddenly. He said that's how evil happened to people. And this is a prayer. It's a very trick. He said, This year I refuse sudden losses, sudden destruction, sudden attack. In the name of Jesus Christ, this year I refuse sudden losses, sudden akopalabashantaya. You will lift up your voices in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject it. I reject sudden losses. I reject sudden losses. I reject sudden attack such destruction in the name of jesus christ we stand upon the word of god this year loss is not your portion loss is not your portion loss is not your portion this year i refuse sudden losses i cancel it i cancel by the power of the holy ghost i cancel it in the name of jesus christ i cancel it this year i refuse sudden losses i declare 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 i refuse sudden losses by the power of the Holy Ghost, I refuse sudden losses. I refuse sudden losses. I refuse sudden losses. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to declare, I want you to put in the comment section, this year I refuse sudden losses and sudden destruction. It's not my portion. I declare, declare with me as you're typing it, this year I refuse sudden losses. I refuse sudden destruction. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it's not my portion. I reject it. I cancel it in Jesus' name. This year, the whole of this year, from January to December, I refuse sudden losses. I refuse sudden destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ, on behalf of myself, on behalf of my family, I refuse sudden losses. My I refuse sudden losses. I refuse sudden, losses. I refuse sudden destruction. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to declare over you. Type in the comment section. I refuse sudden losses. I refuse sudden destruction. Uh, this is my prayer for you. The Bible says this. A thousand shall fall by your side. He said ten thousand by your left hand side. It shall not come near you. I declare that losses will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
the Bible says, when I see the blood, I will pass over. I declare that the blessing of exemption stays upon you. It stays upon your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare over you today that the blessing of exemption from evil, exemption from attack, it stays over you in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the Lord is your cover. 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 Anyone that attempts to put you in trouble, they will wait forever. In Jesus' name, every attempt to put you in trouble will fail. In the name of Jesus Christ, every attempt to put your family in trouble will fail. Every attempt to get your blessing in trouble will fail. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against every kind of sudden trouble in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. In Jesus' name we pray. And there's a last prayer we're going to pray today, which is very powerful. Oh, glory to God. It's very powerful prayer. Father, grant me the gift of access. Oh my God. What does access do? What does access do? You will be, you, God will open doors for you. You will have access to relationship beyond your pay grade. You will have access to people that you should never know. This is what you are praying for. Father, grant me the gift of access. Are you ready to pray? Go ahead and begin to receive it. Father, I ask in Jesus' name, grant me the gift of access. Everyone connected. Father, grant me the gift of access in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, grant me the gift of access in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm receiving the gift of access to the relationship doors, rooms that are beyond me. Father, you will open the door. I'm praying for myself, praying for everyone connected. Like a broko crash, katona braga na ema shoka ba bratu na marishu brata laga ba shkebreke te rumrasko paya. I receive the gift of access. Kapaya ko e rasko taya e kora ba shando kapra. I receive the gift of access. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. My God. If you have received the gift of access, I want to declare it. Say, I've received the gift of access. I've received the gift of access. Say, I've received the gift of access. Type in the comment section, I've received the gift of access. I have received the gift of access. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have received the gift of access. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I have received the gift of access. I have received the gift of access in Jesus' name. Can I declare over you today? Everyone connected to your rising, they are now rising for your rising. I declare over you today, everyone connected to your rising, they are now rising for your rising. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you, either you are watching from East Africa, or you are watching from Nigeria, or you are watching from Ghana, you are watching from East South Africa, you are watching from Zimbabwe, you are watching from the UK, Apache, from Europe, from North America, from Canada. Everyone connected to your rising, they are over. Everyone connected to your rising, they are rising for your rising. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone that needs to help you rise, I say God is lifting them up already. In the name of Jesus. I want to declare something powerful over you as we close this prayer this morning. Everyone connected to your rising is rising in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Everyone connected to your rising is rising in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone connected. Everyone that God needs to use for your rising, they are rising in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not understand why they got the promotion, why they was changed. But because of you, they are rising in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm prophesying to everyone connected here. I don't know what you are believing rising for. I declare that enough is enough. Your status is changing. Enough is enough. You are changing location. You are changing location. Amen. You are moving higher. Amen. You are moving forward. Amen. You are moving higher. Amen. You are moving forward. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. everyone that is connected to your rising oh, is rising oh, in the oh, name oh, of oh, Jesus oh, and they are rising for your rising. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. 
Can't I receive it? Oh my God, man. Type in the comment section, I receive it. Type in the comment section, I receive it. The last declaration is this. Oh, the last declaration is this. Everyone connected to your rising is rising for your rising in Jesus' name. Listen to this and listen well. No matter how hard it has been, either it has, it's so hard for you to get your papers, it's so hard to get married, it's so hard to get your job, it's so hard to get to get to get that document. I said the help of God will prevail on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how hard it has been. I said the help of God will prevail on your behalf. The psalmist said, the Lord has helped me. I declare, I don't know what you, I don't know your contract. How many people are bidding for that contract? I don't know what's wrong with your immigration papers. What is not in place and what is in place. I don't know why you've not been able to get married. I don't know why you've not been able to have a child. I don't know why your child is so sick and have that issue. But this is what I'm saying. I know for years those issues have remained. But from today, no matter how hard it is. I said the help of God prevails on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter how hard it is, the help of God prevails on your behalf in Jesus' name. Oh my God, yeah. all that long standing issue, the help of God prevails on your behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone you are receiving, anyone you are receiving, uh, declare, put in the comment section. Uh, oh my, over long standing issue, the help of God prevails for me. Uh, over long standing issue, the help of God prevails for me. Uh, over long standing issue, the help of God prevails for me. And listen to me. This year, the help of God will be numerous in your life. Amen. There will be several things to point to as the evidence of God's help. Amen. No matter how long it has been. Amen. The help of God prevails. Amen. As you have committed yourself to this fasting and prayer, the help of God prevails Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Let's end with thanksgiving. Let's go ahead and end this prayer with thanksgiving. Oh, let's go ahead and end with Thanksgiving. Shabala barabaraba. Let's go ahead and end with Thanksgiving. Let's go ahead and end it with Thanksgiving. Lift up your voices and let's thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Let's go ahead and thank you for answer prayer. Oh, Rabban ne kora basham bala man ne kora basata. Lega ne me dubroto lo musike le brete ne subrati. Le me ne koba raba shanda la raba haya. Let's go ahead and end this with Thanksgiving. Father, we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please remember this. No matter how hard it is, the help of God prevails on your behalf. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This evening is midweek service. You are fasting. I want to challenge you that make sure that you join the online service. Either you're watching in the physical center, you are with us in church physically, or you're watching online. Anywhere you're watching from, this evening is special. The power of the Holy Ghost will fill the whole auditorium. I'm telling you, it will touch lives in a unique way. Hallelujah. Remember, wine pressing on the 25th. Make sure that you are here. It's holding a landmark in Lagos and all of our other centers. It's holding Abuja in the Badon. There's satellite centers there. Make sure that you are there. And the last thing is this. If you want to be part of either the NLP community, the Next Level Prayer community in Europe, in the UK, in Australia, in Asia, in Dubai, in North America, send me a DM. Or if you want to part of the Harvesters team, there's Harvesters network of churches everywhere in your state. Send me a message. Maybe you want to do that in Ibado, in Abekuta, in you know, in you know, in Ghana. Send me a message and let's know if you are interested in joining. If you want the devotional, if you want the devotional, go ahead and download the app, the Harvesters app on iOS or Google app. It's all there for you and read the devotional. Say, to this evening will be powerful. And tomorrow, we will be praying in a powerful way. Whatever is happening, do not miss more. If you missed that prayer today, go back and watch it on YouTube. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you for joining and God bless you.